Question number one, why do men stop trying once they are in a relationship? Now, the really easy question answer to this would be that we tend to get complacent. And I could leave it there, but that's not actually the answer. By the way, grab your cup of coffee. You're joining us. If you're a fan of the show, you know that I drink my coffee while I work because otherwise my brain doesn't work. Um, so grab your cup of coffee, your energy drink, and stay a while and listen. That's for all my D3. Well, that's for all my Diablo fans out there. Stay a while and listen. Why do men stop trying once they're in a relationship? It's not that we become complacent, at least on purpose. So I'm going to take this one a little deep. Sorry. There is such things called as what you would understand as evolutionary testosterone levels. What that means is that the testosterone in production in men actually decreases once they settle into a relationship. Now, this is, you know, all factors aside, like, we're not talking about age over here or um, stress levels or sleep or nutrition. There are a lot of things that affect a man's testosterone levels, but one of them is actually being in a good, solid relationship. Now, women, please do not take this as offensive. That means that he really is deeply into you. He feels secure in your relationship and that y'all have something strong. His testosterone levels are actually going to go down a little. You probably don't want to hear that, but this has to do with evolutionary biology. Men's testosterone levels are higher when they are single. In fact, research has shown that post-divorce, men's testosterone levels will actually go up farther. I'm sorry if I'm getting hard T's. It's hard to balance this mic. I don't have a good audio set up yet. Sorry. When men become single again or after post-divorce, a man's testosterone levels will rise back up because a man goes back into hunter mode. When men are single in any way, shape, or form, our testosterone levels boost. It's because we turn into hunters again. We go back on the prowl. From an evolution standpoint, and I'm not a big fan of evolution, but I won't get into a deep argument on that. Okay, I believe in creationism. You can do with that what you want. But things do evolve. I just don't think that's where life started. Everything does evolve. If you don't evolve, adapt, and grow, you die. That's just how it works. So our bodies actually adapt to our circumstances. Now, if you go back in history, way back, caveman days, and even after, men's t testosterone levels were actually higher. It's because men had to physically provide. They had to go out and farm. They had to go out and hunt. They had to go out and battle to protect what was theirs, whether it's from neighboring tribes or just roaming bandits or whether they're actually at war. Men had to fight more. Our testosterone levels were higher. As we progress, and life has gotten simpler and simpler, the actual normal standard testosterone levels of men has decreased greatly in response to we're no longer hunter-gatherers. We don't have to go hunting for food unless you call fighting it out in Walmart or Fred Meyer or Costco or wherever you go shopping. We don't have to go hunt for food. Some men hunt. I haven't been hunting in years. I do enjoy hunting. Other men don't, and that's fine too. My dad was never a hunter. That's not his thing, and that's okay too. But we don't have to. You are not required to go shoot your food to eat that day. Likewise, you don't necessarily have to work the field or you won't eat. So, there's that has come down. Men have come down as well. Our testosterone levels necessary for our survival have decreased. One of the things that changes is men are designed to procreate. I know women don't want to hear that. Um, it's not very popular to think of us as that is our main role. But men were designed 
with the idea to mate and procreate as much as possible to make the human race survive in a time when large animals, dinosaurs, whether that's your thing or not, hunted mankind, or I know some people say they didn't coexist, but there is evidence to say said they do exist in some places at the same time. But it wasn't just that. There were wars, there was famines, there was plagues, there was illnesses. Hey, plagues, we know about that. There was all kinds of things that the average lifespan was much, much shorter. That's why you look historically and see kids getting married at 14. Can you imagine that? I've got an 8-year-old daughter. I, I just can't even imagine the horrors of marrying her off at 14. So, the world has changed and evolved. And as it has, we've gotten a little softer as a species. And our testosterone has gone down. Likewise. Men get into a relationship, our testosterone goes down. We are no longer in the mode of hunt. We're no longer out trying to find a mate and procreate and recreate life. Evolutionary bio- biology, I'm not a brain surgeon. We've all, re- all discussed this before, but that's just the facts. I did research these questions, and there is actually science behind it. So we do become complacent, and guys, we got to stop doing that. We can't be complacent in our relationship. Check out my, I think it was blog five. Check out blog five, Mars and Venus. I'll link that in the comments. Sorry, I'll link that over here if you're on YouTube. If you're on the podcast, make sure you can go back and check that one out with someone you love. That one was a great his and hers video for our podcast episode, getting together with your spouse and being a better couple. Check that out. Guys, go back to that. If you're becoming complacent in your relationship, you're wrong. So fix that. Don't let our biology get the better of us. But got, ladies, it's not 100% intentional. What's happening, guys? What's My name is Brent, and I am The Fallible Man. This has been a clip from one of our podcasts. Hey, if you enjoyed the clip, go over to our YouTube channel and check out the full video podcast available exclusively on YouTube. And if you're more of an audio guy, hey, we our podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, and I think pretty much everywhere else you want to listen. Thanks for hanging out with us, and I hope you enjoyed the clip.